Maverick. Okay, kennel up. Kennel up. Open the door. <laughs> Good boy. Ah, uh -uh, kennel up. You go back in there. Good boy. Yeah. You sit. Maverick. Sing. Sing. Oh. That's nothing. Oh. Do a long one. Welcome back to another episode of Jules Rambling. So I figured today would be a really good day to do a video all about my dog Maverick. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you'll see that I post a lot of pictures of him. I've already done videos of Meet My Horses and Meet My Bird, and I haven't done a video on the most important animal in my life. So I thought today would be just a good day to explain a little bit of his history with me and what kind of dog he is. I hope you enjoy. So this is Maverick. Oh, I love you too, thank you. He is a almost nine year old miniature schnauzer. His birthday is May 26. He, I bought towards the end of October in 2008 is a tiny little puppy. He was about the size of his little teeny tiny head. Yeah, so cute. That's a good boy. Oh, we're so cute. We're so cute. Yeah, I'm so cute. Um, so I got him towards the end of October in 2008. And he had been at this pet store for, I don't know how long, probably since he was eight weeks old. And I've never actually done the math to see how old he really was when I bought him. I don't necessarily like purchasing animals from a pet store. I think it's much better to go to the pound or shelter or even to a local breeder. I had moved into a small townhouse and I knew I wanted a small dog for a townhouse and was debating between a miniature schnauzer and a West Highland Terrier. And based on my research, I figured a miniature schnauzer was going to be the best for me. They are highly intelligent, super easy to train, and generally um, easy and good for a townhouse and just a little easier to train than a West Highland Terrier would have been. I worked a 40 hour week as well as um, was going to where my horses were being boarded, which was probably 30 to 40 minutes from my home. So I wanted a dog that wouldn't require me to spend a ton of time trying to train. So I knew I wanted a miniature schnauzer and there were no local breeders, but there happened to be a pet store that had one last puppy. So I went to the pet store and there he was. I'm not even kidding you. He was about this big. I mean, he was just teeny, teeny, tiny. And shivering and shaking and, and cold and scared and lonely. Was he so lonely? So I bought him <laughs> and took him home and took him to PetSmart, I think it was PetSmart that has the Banfield Pet Hospital and signed him up for the puppy wellness plan and I'm glad I did because it turns out he had kennel cough which had progressed so much that it had turned into pneumonia. So we were at the vet like every week with medicine and drugs and just so many issues. So we lived in this townhouse for about a year and he was a good boy, really easy to train, just like everything said online. And then I moved to Virginia with him and he was around kids and just loves kids. These dogs, miniature schnauzers, are such family dogs. They love their families. But it was when he was about, Two and a half or three, I noticed he seemed to, every once in a while, run into things. And I wasn't too concerned. I just thought, oh, he runs really fast, gets really excited, and doesn't really pay attention. But 
I noticed one day when I was taking his picture, there was this kind of foggy haze to his eyes. So when I took him to the vet for his annual shots, I asked them to please check his eyes. And the vet was like, well, what are, you, what are you suspecting? And I said, I think he has cataracts. And the vet's like, well, he's only three. There's, he's too young to have cataracts. I said, please, please just check. And he did, and sure enough, Maverick had developed cataracts, which the vet informed me were fully, going to be fully developed in probably about a year. So by the time he was four to four and a half, he had lost all of his eyesight and vision. Schnauzers are prone to eye issues, but to lose his eyesight at four is very rare or very uncommon. So we've had to kind of change how he does things because living with a sight impaired dog can be hard and and sad. He, you know, he does not act like he's blind. Anybody that meets him would never know. I mean, he runs over and is super excited and loves to meet people, but he can't see, so he tends to bark a lot. They say when you lose one sense, another gets stronger. So for him, he's lost his eyesight, but his hearing is like a hundred times better <laughs> than it used to be. So he hears the slightest thing. A tree branch could knock on the side of our house and he goes nuts. So schnauzers bark. They are, they are barkers. They are the alert dogs. Dude, you're not even on the camera. Come back up and say, hello, look at my cute face. Oh, I just love sitting on mommy's lap. I'm a social good boy. Schnauzers are such snugglers. He loves to snuggle. Yes, he does. So with his vision, my husband and I are very careful with what we move in our house because he knows the way the house is set up so we don't we try not to move things into his typical path just so that he doesn't run into it he has learned when we tell him careful that means he's approaching something and he'll slow down and wait until he can kind of sense it with his whiskers with the horses you know we've got the four horses here that we care for he loves to go out to the barn, but he can't be around the horses because he has no fear. Even though he can't see, even though he's blind as a little bat, he has no fear and will just run right up to them and not even know that they might stample or st stomp him. <laughs> I like to be held like a baby. Yeah, the wonderful boy. So. Anyway, that's a little bit about Maverick. I will have had him nine years this October. He turns nine in May. He's gonna be an old boy. We're gonna get a birthday cake, huh? That's a big one, turning nine. What a good boy. And I just gave him a haircut, so he has the schnauzer cut. So that's Maverick in a nutshell. We've had some ups and downs. You know, with different medical issues, he had a seizure one time. Um, he, you're definitely starting to see his age, which of course makes me sad. But we've had a long, long time together, huh? Yes. Has it been a good time? Yes. Oh. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed meeting Maverick. If you have any questions about Schnauzers or different training, please comment below. I'd love to hear what kind of dogs my viewers have. I always find it really interesting how everybody's drawn to different breeds of animals, like especially with horses. I love thoroughbreds and I love quarter horses and I have friends that won't ride anything unless it's a Pasifino or unless it's um, a Tennessee Walker or a Paint. You know, it's, it's always interesting to me to see what different types of breeds people are drawn to. And so like me with dogs, I absolutely love miniature schnauzers and I love Australian shepherds. But going from a really hairy shedding dog, an Australian Shepherd, where I felt like every single day I was vacuuming and dusting and there was still hair everywhere, to a non-shedding dog where there's never hair in my house and I can hold him on my clothes and I never have hair, I will never go back to having a shedding dog in my house again, like period. I love them, they are awesome, but I feel like I can never keep my house clean. 
So comment below what you have. I'd love to hear and, and see pictures. I hope you enjoyed meeting Maverick. I'm sure you'll see him in future videos. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and click like so that I know you're at least enjoying the videos. I mean, I love putting them out and I think it's, it's fun, but I love to, to know that my viewers are enjoying them as well. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend. You wanna say goodbye? Say goodbye. See you. Boy, hey, and boy, hey, and boy.